Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to create a Google Space. So you can think of this as a chat with uh, two or more people that is a just kind of like I like to think of it as a watered down Slack uh, or a watered down version of Slack that Google has and is largely free for uh, particularly organizations to use and create. So when you are in uh, your your Gmail, you're going to come over here to where you see chat, and you're going to select new chat. Now, right off the bat, it's going to actually allow you to give you a couple different options, and you want to select create a space. You want to give the space a name, so you can name it whatever you want. Um, coolest place to be, because obviously. You can even give it an emoji, just make it uh, distinguished. So of course, we're going with smiling cat. And then you can actually create this as one of two spaces, a collaborative space or an announcement space. I recommend a collaborative space if you actually want people to be able to like share back and forth. You can also change the account, the, the level of privacy. So you can change it to private or to anybody in your organization can access it. You can also decide if you want uh, or to allow external members, that is people who do not are not part of your institution or organization don't have that particular email address. Um, you might consider this, particularly if you're working on projects that are outside of your that are outside of your organization, that would be important for them to be part of the conversation. So I've got everything I need here. I'm going to hit create. And so now it has created that space. Super easy to do. You can turn history on or off. That means as later people join, they can either see the history or not see the history. Uh, you can Right at the beginning, it's like, hey, let's get this started. So it says you can add members, you can share a file, you can assign tasks. And notice that some of those are actually up here as well. If you share any file, it's going to be located under shared. If you assign any tasks, it's going to be located here. You have your chat, so you can always you know, do the welcome, everybody. And what you can do once you post that chat is, of course, you can do emojis. Um, you can reply in thread. And so reply in thread means you're creating a thread that is separate from the main conversation. And this can just be really helpful to keep conversations cornered off um, so that it's not if there's a subject that only some of the people in the group want to talk about, they can do that in the thread as opposed to on the main wall. So. The other thing you want to be just know about is if you come up here to the title of the area and you click on it, it'll give you a bunch of different options. Uh, some of those are personal, so you can mark it, mark things as unread. You can pin this so it'll show up at the top of your spaces. You can mute it so you won't get any notifications. You can adjust the notifications or even turn it off, uh, turn off history. And also you can leave, block the space, delete it. But up here is really where you're doing a lot of the work. So managing members, uh, you'd come here, you'd see oh, who are the members. And then when you're ready, you can select add. Um, you can also, here's where you might adjust a, a member's uh, standing. So if you had somebody else that was in the group, you could make them a space manager or replace, or have them removed as a space manager. Uh, if you've invited people, you can check under your invites. And then some of the details of the space and things you might want to adjust or change. Uh, and again, you can kind of scroll down, look at each of these, decide what makes most sense. Space details, if you want to give it a description, give it some guidelines. Um, and we, at least the organization I'm at, we don't really have any apps or integrations uh, made available. So that's not really a helpful space. So this is a super simple overview, how to get it up, get it starting. Um, Hopefully this is useful. If you have any questions, let me know.